Hello everyone and welcome back to Scandinavian Design 101. I'm Sanna. I'm Andreas and we are two Swedes and we love design. We do. For us Swedes, IKEA product names are often quite basic and mm -hmm. boring and not yeah. something we really take notice on actually. No. But I've come to understand that this is not the case when it comes to non-Swedish speakers. No. Instead, they stroll around IKEA <laughs> and try to pronounce and understand the meaning of the names that in English often sound ridiculous actually. Yeah. And now that I've thought about it, many of the names have some weird translations as well. <laughs> So in this video, we're going to simply pronounce IKEA product names and tell you what they mean in English. Yeah. And I hope you'll enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And let's start with the name IKEA, mm. uh, which actually stands for Ingvar Kamprad Eltaryd Agunnaryd. Yeah. That's the founder's uh, first and surname and the name of the farm and the small town he grew up in. Yeah. And the reason why all products were given names was because Ingvar was dyslectic and wanted to avoid numbers. He couldn't uh, remember like the product can? numbers. No, no one can <laughs> really. Uh, it's Difficult. a good thing with uh, uh, names instead of numbers. Yeah, much more clever. Um, the names have a Scandinavian touch, of course, very often, and uh, often um, included the Swedish letters O, E, Ö. Mm -hmm. And uh, that makes them even more difficult for non-Swedish uh, speakers to pronounce. Yeah. And now let's uh, take a look at some product names. Yes. And how about we start mm. with some of the big sellers, like for example, the Malm dresser. Malm has a few different meanings in mm. Swedish. It's a surname, but it could also be used to describe a part of the earth, Earth's rock foundation. Yeah, yeah. I think it's it's uh, English translation is ore, like the or. iron or iron ah. ore, uh, like you have in, in yeah. the mines, you take iron ore and make iron. That <laughs> so, is true. Yeah, yeah. Next up is the Kallax shelf. Yeah. Kallax is an area outside the town of Luleå in the northern part of Sweden. Yeah. Next, the Besto. TV bench. Mm. Besto literally, literally means consists or to last. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, I think mm. so. Uh, the, the value lasts, like the, the består. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next, the Mör, Mörbylonga table. Mm -hmm. Mörbylonga is an area in the Swedish island of Öland, which literally means island land. Yeah, Isn't that's, that fun? that's that's crazy. Öland, <laughs> Island land. Yeah. It's very strange. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Next, the Klippan two seat sofa, a huge big seller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've all owned one. I haven't actually. Such a snob. <laughs> yeah. Also, Klippan is uh, the name of a small town, but this time in the south of Sweden. Yeah. But it also literally means the cliff. Yeah. Not just cliff. The cliff. Yeah, it's mean, it means the cliff, but sometimes uh, it's often said that Klippan means uh, the cliff, but they, they actually think about the town. Uh, That's in why this. I said Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Next is the baby crib sniglar, <laughs> and this is very strange, because that means snails. Yeah, and that makes no sense. No, no sense at all. <laughs> why would you name a baby crib no. snails? And now moving on to some even weirder names yeah. like Skådis uh, pegboard. And Skådis is uh, slang for the Swedish word skådespelare, which means actor. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Uh, I, I don't want to even I don't think know. about it. <laughs> no. mm -hmm. And next, uh, the bekant desk. And bekant means acquaintance or familiar. Mm. Um, so it's... Uh, Oh, it doesn't make any sense either, actually, because it's a it desk. Doesn't. No, it's a desk. Of course it doesn't. Why? It should be like a study or something. It should be called. Uh, well, that's so boring. You could die. Yeah, yeah. This is better. Um, and next, the hanger, uh, shoesig, which literally means stylish or fancy. Yeah. And and I can't agree about that, considering the the item. But I think they think about like you you want to be stylish, and then you use the clothing hanging on the hanger. How do you be stylish with the clothing? You use the clothing hanging on the hanger, 
Yeah, oh, yeah. But what if that's not stylish? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Ah, hmm. And next, the mini chest of drawers called Moppe, which is really weird because Moppe is slang for moped, which of, of course means moped or scooter. Yeah, and but it, why is it called that? <laughs> it's a, someone needed to desperately uh, come up with a name and <laughs> he, uh, he came to work uh, mm. on his uh, scooter and then he asked, yeah, we will call it scooter. Yeah, ah. uh, Next, the table lamp uh, Knubbig. Which actually means shabby, believe it or not. Uh, I think my mom has those. <laughs> yeah, I think it's I've it's seen a popular uh, lamp, yeah. and, and it uh, is chubby. Yeah, it is. It is knubbig. Or round. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and now uh, the famous ögla chair, and ögla means loop, and that does make sense mm -hmm. because of the shape of the chair. Yeah, it does yeah, actually. Yeah. The first one to make sense. Yeah. Good now <laughs> to some kitchen items, uh, like the wine glass svalka, mm. which means refresh or cool. That also makes sense. Yeah. Or the wine glasses storsint, which translates to generous or noble, which doesn't make any sense. If it's not a very large glass. Or fancy wine. Oh, it could be, but they don't know if, if you have no, fancy wine. but then uh, it makes sense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next, the cutlery set... Dragon, not dragon, like no, you think. No, no. Uh, dragon means tarragon, the herb, not dragon. Unfortunately, that's no. a better name for it, actually. <laughs> yeah. but. Next up, the utensil said fulländad, which means accomplished mm. or perfect. Super strange name for utensils, <laughs> I think. <laughs> yeah, because it's not really <laughs> no, accomplished. No, 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 no. <laughs> Next, the sensuel cookware set. <laughs> sensuel actually means sexy or sultry. Yeah, and then it's a cookware. Yeah. Yeah, it's like pots and. Yeah, mm. that's just ridiculous. Yeah, it is. I don't have a comment for that. No. Next, the stainless steel tray called groggy. Mm. And I would say groggy means the same thing in Swedish no, and English. Yeah, I think it's so. like a Swinglish word, right? Yeah. I think so. So it means groggy. Yeah. Unsteady, wobbly, dizzy. You you get the drill. Uh, yeah, yeah. So that's the first one that actually makes some Sa sort of some sense sort, in English. Some sort of sense, yeah, mm. yeah. And apparently there is a logic behind these names. Uh, I never understood it, but it is a logic, with some ex exceptions, of course. And we're going to tell you this now. And the following is a simplified version of the naming system. And it's sofas, armchairs, kitchen tables and chairs. They are named after different places in Sweden. And bookshelves, they are named after occupations, places or Scandinavian boy names. That's a lot of different <laughs> things. Yeah, yeah, broad. Desks, they are named after Scandinavian boy names. I saw one called Hans Ove. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's a very unused and unpopular Swedish <laughs> yeah. name. So it's, uh, a small it's boy weird. today called uh, Hans Ove. Uh, not very good name. No, but <laughs> not very good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well. Uh, lighting, uh, it's named after places in Sweden, weather phenomena, but also nautical names. Mm -hmm. And rugs, they are named after Danish places. Yeah. Uh, garden furniture, that's uh, named after Scandinavian islands. And beds, wardrobes and chest of drawers are named after Norwegian places. Yeah. And then textiles and bed linen, they're named after Scandinavian girls' names, but also flowers and plants. Yeah, I saw... <laughs> <laughs> What? Why at the garden? Curtains. <laughs> yeah. I saw curtains named Maigul. <laughs> Maigul, yeah. And that's also a very, very unused. A very old-fashioned Swedish yeah. name. <laughs> yeah. Maigul. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and children's articles, mm. they are named after like birds and animals and adjectives too. Makes sense. Yeah, ish. yeah. And bathroom articles, that's Swedish lakes and nautical names. Makes sense. Oh, yeah. And kitchen articles, that's adjectives or descriptive words. Does not make any sense Not at all. all. Mm. It was sensuel, for example, there. It's just ridiculous. Sexy. Yeah, <laughs> sexy. <laughs> I take my sexy pot here and... Uh, yeah, no, no matter what. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, and 
also then uh, last we have decorations elements uh, and they are uh, named after places uh, but also uh, descriptive words and slang. The that, slang words are very strange. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. it's very strange. Skådismoppe. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's stupid. It is stupid, but we'd love to hear if you enjoy this video in the comments down below. Yeah, and if you did also, and if you want to hear, uh, see one more video about this, we can do, of course, one more, because there are literally thousands of products here to talk yeah. about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But if you like this video, please click thumbs up and subscribe. And follow us on Instagram, they're called Scandinavian Design 101. Yes, thank you so very much for watching. Thank you.